Hi there, my name is Adrian O'Sullivan. I'm a PhD student currently in UCC under Mara and getting funded by the SFI. Uh, this video is not based on any paper specifically, it's just based on the DQ uh, Clark's uh, transformation. And I'm going to be doing it with uh, my linear permanent magnet generator, which is an LPMG. But you can do it with a ro rotary machine. Uh, it doesn't have to be a linear one. So this is the basic three phase um, circuit that you would have. So you'd have the excite or the, the EMF, which would be the or the induced voltage was uh, EA and then the resistance and the inductance of the machine and then this would be controlled by the the voltage VA which is on the terminals of the the generator or in my case it would be on a back to back uh, voltage source converter so it's fairly inconvenient to control the system by the three phases so instead of controlling all three phases the system is going to be transformed into two phases, so it uh, makes a control uh, a lot simpler. So that's why we're going to be doing it. So let's just take one phase. Whoops. Let's just take phase A. Yeah, change color. Yeah. Just to put it into the standard uh, circuit form. And then to write the equation for the circuit. And then what we can do is we can write the the DQ transformation matrix here in terms of uh, cos uh, theta 1, 2, and 3, and then minus sign theta 1, 2, and 3. And then multiply this by uh, EA, EB, and EC. And this is the standard uh, power invariant matrix. So, oops. So, the power invariant matrix, it's very handy. So, we'll just look that up. Um, so, we'll name this transfer matrix, um, this transformation matrix, uh, K. So, we can put all the, the induced voltages and the the voltages and the rest of that circuit into uh, or the three phase circuit into a set of matrices as i'm doing here so this is going to be e a b c v a b c i a b c and this this one is exactly the same, it's uh, IABC as well. So you can write the entire thing as this. This is just to save space. It's I see sometimes notation written as this, but I really don't like it. But just to save space, I did it. And then multiplying on the left side by root uh, 2 over 3, so it's the square root of 2 over 3 uh, multiplied by that K transformation matrix on the left by everything and that uh, that uh, circuit equation that we have above for the three phases. So then we can call these EDQ, VDQ, IDQ and but this one it's a little bit more complicated so this needs solving. So let's give it a go. So what do we have to do? We already have a transformation matrix that transforms the uh, IABC to IDQ. But we have to find the derivative of IABC. So we have to find the derivative of uh, the, the values on the right side. But these uh, theta values, they're not constant values because the DQ axis is constantly changing. There are functions of the speed, which is a function of time. 
So that is affected by the derivative. So how do we do this? Let's just take uh, the first or the top line, which is uh, DIA DT. So we can just take the first section out and then we can replicate it all the way down. It's fairly similar. So when we multiply across the matrix, we get this ID by cos theta one minus IQ by sine theta one. And we know that theta one is um, pi over tau uh, by Z of T. Wherefore an LPMG, a linear permanent magnet machine or generator, uh, tau is pole pitch where uh, the pole pitch is uh, the length of which it covers half a cycle. So 180 degrees. That's why it's uh, you have uh, the pi divided by that uh, tau value because it's just a kind of a, a scaling factor. So you have pi, whoops, pi is equal to radians. It's got the units of radians. Tau has got the units of meters. And Z of T obviously has uh, meters because it's a displacement. So let's just do a random check here. You got radians, perfect. So for theta two, we just had the same as theta one with an offset of uh, 120 degrees. And for theta three, we have a uh, 240 degrees. So as I was previously saying, with the derivative of IA, I was just showing you back there. It's not a case of of uh, like theta one and theta two and theta three are all functions of of displacement. That's all I was showing you. So we have to do the product rule here because ID is a function of t and a cosine of theta one is a function of t as well. So by taking u is equal to ID and du. That's just a straight uh, derivative. And here we got to take the pi over tau and the uh, and uh, differentiate the the displacement to get the velocity on the left side. So as we can see here. When we fill this back in, we get this. And I replaced the uh, pi over tau by uh, Z of T by theta one again, just to save space. So that's just the first line. And it's not that much different for um, uh, DIB and DIC over dt because the derivative of uh, cosine of uh, pi over tau by uh, z of t that is a mistake there's not supposed to be a dot over that sorry about that rub that out and we know that that's equal to minus pi over tau by z dot of t by the sine of pi over tau by z of t and we know that it's it turns out to be the exact same derivative except uh, the angle stays as uh, theta two, which is the theta one with the offset of two pi over three. And it's the same with the the third row. It's the basic, it's the sa exact same thing really. So when we fill these back in, we just bring the pi over tau uh, by uh, Z dot outside. And we get this matrix here. And you can see here that it's usually ID uh, above IQ here. But in the case with the, the derivative brings in a flipped kind of a sign, kind of an offset with uh, the actual current values. And then there's a derivative here, as you can see right here. 
So you can see here that these two transformational matrices are the exact same, or transformation matrices are the exact same. And let's just call this G to make it a bit simple, or save space. And just a little proof here, there's not much into it. This is the transformation from a two phase to a three phase here. So we know that this matrix is G. D over Q, yeah. And we know that that's equal to uh, ABC. And then we have another transfer matrix uh, that goes from the tree phase to uh, DQ. And we call this one K. So we know that if we fill in the equation above that's equal to ABC into this equation here, we know that uh, the square root of 2 over 3 by k by the square root of 2 over 3 by g is going to be equal to the identity matrix because d over q have, has got to be equal to d over q, obviously, as I'm showing right here. Perfect. So now we can substitute that back into the main equation. And all these values on the left side, they can be transformed directly into the DQ since pi of, or sorry, the square root of two over three by the transformation matrix K by the ABC values is equal to the DQ of those values as I'm doing right here. So what exactly is ED and EQ? I haven't covered it yet, but I'll be showing you in a minute. And you can see here I've replaced pi over tau uh, by uh, z dot of t uh, by omega. And that's just the, the electrical speed i think it's called the electrical frequency i think it's called so what are these values here confusion these could be any values but i'll just show you how i got them so just using the standard uh, abc to dq transformation matrix as i was showing you here so this would be the g no this is the k the k matrix yeah And instead of having E, A, B, and C, we know that E, B is the exact same as E, A, except 120 degrees out of phase. And we know it's going to be the same except 240 degrees out of phase for the E, C. And we know that this is the standard equation for uh, the flux linkage, or it's the standard equation for the induced voltage, where lambda FD is the induced or the flux linkage. So when we multiply all this out, we leave omega t by the flux linkage on the outside. And we have the summation of cosines and sines. And on the bottom, we do the exact same, except we get sine squared values. And I'm not gonna show you this, but it's, if you leave um, the z of t equal to zero, it comes out fairly simple that the top value is equal to zero and the bottom value is equal to three over two. And when you fill this back in, you get this. You get that ED of T is equal to zero. 
and you get that eq of t is equal to this which simplifies to square root 3 over 2 by the flux linkage by uh, the electrical speed or electrical frequency omega of t where i like to call uh, in my paper i called uh, the square root of 3 over 2 by the flux linkage uh, another flux linkage so uh, that's that uh, thanks for watching and hopefully it made sense if it didn't uh, just leave a few comments below cool thanks